Welcome back everybody, it's I with I Will Play and I'm here to go through the Minecraft 1.18 Experimental Snapshot 6 which is the latest experimental snapshot for the new terrain building including caves and mountains and just a whole lot of changes to the game. I want to just kind of move around it in creative just to give you a good idea as to what 1.18 would look like right now if they were to release this snapshot as the official end product. So let's take a look at some of the 1.18 caves and cliffs, mountain ranges, just the really cool stuff they have going on so far. Let's go. Experimental snapshot six, creative mode on. The world is using experimental settings are not supported. The world using experimental settings that could stop working at any time. We cannot guarantee it'll load or work. Here be dragons. So now I did take a look at five. I didn't get it recorded for you guys, um, but it takes forever for some portions of the world to download because there was so much vegetation and stuff that it was just laggy. I didn't want to release it. This one, I'll reduce the settings or whatever we need to do to make sure that you guys can take a look at what it looks like. And I don't know if this is going to be the last experimental snapshot, but I hope so. I hope we start getting into the betas. Well, let's just get get a look. We're at 75 high, so that little hill there is probably 100. Now, hey, on this one, it looks like they decreased the vegetation a little bit. I don't know if, if they meant to do that or not, but literally every hill was covered with this large, too tall, high vegetation. And it was taking forever for anything to download so you could actually look at it. All right, I do want to go to the top of that mountain up there. If it fails, just use creative to go up and see how tall it is. We're going to go up here. Hey, this is just a great big meadow up here. This is 125 high. And you can see, look, I mean, look at the greenery. Look how cool this looks, So, And it's loading in so much quicker, which means that they've cut out a decent amount of the vegetation so that it can load. In Experimental Snapshot 5, I was able to find something that looked like an elephant, something else that looked like a dinosaur or a bird. I don't know what this looks like. A turtle? Maybe if it was a little bit more round right here, the turtle head, the legs. <laughs> Making images out of molehills. Now, we have to be very careful. As you guys will see, when you find cave systems, you can fall right down here and die. It's too far down. Now, if you have all the armor stuff on, you don't have to worry about it. But without the armor, that's a long fall. I wonder if we could push Donkey off in there and see how far it is. Go, Donkey. Can we push Donkey in? See if Donkey survives. Let's go, Donk Donk. You can make it, Donk. You can live. Donkey. All right, donkey lived. Hey, there's one tree on the top of a mountain again. Some of the things that they say they fix, some of them are actually fixed and some of them aren't. Look at these weird cutouts though. If you go on the top of these things, and I know it's a little bit laggy because I'm, I mean, look what I'm loading in. That's crazy. Give you a nice little panoramic view. You can see entire forests. The view from up here is amazing. Now this is only 124 blocks high. Currently the, the tall mountains go up to 260 blocks high. And I believe they moved the clouds from like 128 or something like that up to 190 or, or some, don't, don't quote me on those exact numbers, but they're moved up. So the clouds aren't, halfway up the mountains anymore which is nice that looks like some tall stuff right over there let's head that way for this to load in. This looks like a big mountain range. Or not. No? Gosh, so cool looking though. 
how it's all separated there's holes now again there's these weird floaties right right like where there's just these weird chunks that are still out here floating they have work to do obviously to fix things like this pull you out of that submersion factor a little bit when things are a little wonky there's something uh, else right here that's not attached which you know they say that's abnormal but we're used to having stuff that's not attached like this all the time in release <laughs> holy cow look at this what the ocean's right there oh man gosh that makes you want to jump for it doesn't it Maybe we will. See, how high are we? 178. See, one tree on the top of that, that uh, mountain there. It's <laughs> now, supposedly, when there is one tree on its own, it's supposed to have a higher chance of having a beehive on it. I don't know how much of a higher chance, but that would be kind of cool, huh? To be able to run out and go, hey, there's one tree over there. Run up and, you know, there's a 20% chance of a beehive or something would be sweet. I don't know. What's the chance now? 0. 0.00000. 000 zero 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 one is that it something like that and you can see how sharp these cutoffs can be on these mountains I mean look at that that's straight down and it does the same thing over here if you're on the edge of one of these things I mean look at this imagine yourself in survival world you come over this corner you are currently 151 blocks high and the water level down there from the last that I looked at it was around 62 or 63 so you're about 90 blocks above the water right here if you don't land in the water you are super dead regardless of what you're doing look at the size of these caves we'll check out the caves in just a moment I wanted to check out the mountains first I really really was hoping we could find a 260 high mountain this is only 156 Man, it looks so high though, doesn't it? Like, look at that. This is only 156. Think we can make that? Let's try. Hey, oh yeah, we made it. Woo! That'd be a thrill in hardcore, wouldn't it? Yes, I have done that before in hardcore. It's split right in the middle. That's crazy looking. I mean, look at this crazy looking terrain. This looks like a volcano mountains all around and then this big giant hole right in the middle of it i'm gonna cruise around and find some mountains i'll be right back as soon as i find something this isn't as big of a mountain as i wanted to show you guys yet but this gives you an idea as to how much vegetation trees jungle etc um, it takes a little while for this to load in i think uh the clouds here by the way i'm in the cloud right now and we're at 192 yeah so it's 192 now instead of 128 or whatever it used to be look how pretty this is I mean, look at this. It's still drawing things out because there's so much vegetation. You can see all these little white dots and yellow dots. It's drawing in all the flowers and everything for me. This looks like a completely different world now. Like there's so much to it. These elevation changes, but also the diversity in biomes. There's just a lot more to Minecraft now, but also a lot of jumping up and down. There's a lot of movement now. You can't not very often can you find a straightaway where you can just run for a long period of time. Okay, the cool thing is too, is they put powdered snow underneath regular snow and such to make it look like it is all snow and sometimes four or five blocks or more of direct snow. So it gives you more of a snow mountain feel and not just a mountain with a little bit of snow on it, but like literally there's a village right here, kind of buried in the snow a little bit. Dang! Wow, that's cool looking. Okay, and right here, we're only at 180. 180 too high. Real close to the clouds, but not 260 yet. Look at that drop off. It's like a bowl. What? It is, it's just like a bowl. That's cool. What is going on down here though? What? I have quite a bit of it loaded in now. You can see, I mean, look how beautiful that is. This is the mountain range that we saw 
with all of the snow all over it. These are the holes that we saw inside of the mountain. This is the drop off area that leads into the water. Then we have a vast amount of forest. Look how pretty this is. Look how cool and pretty this is. I'm up 190 blocks, so I'm giving you a good aerial view of everything. Even though the water just looks like a river and a small little bay, it's deep and it's deep really quick. Whereas before it was shallow, you would have to dig to go down anywhere. Now it's deep everywhere, no matter whether you're in the ocean or not. Here's a cave right here. I better turn on night vision, huh? Okay, let's take some freaking night post. Night vision! Hey! Look at all the dripstone. What? Oh. Whoa! Wow, that's a lot of dripstone. Check it. Look at this. Whoa, wow. This is going on forever or what? Okay, now they, they've increased the amount when you go into these caves, the amount of copper that you can find in one general area. There's a whole bunch of copper there as well. There's another huge patch of copper. Wow. There's going to be another huge patch over here. What? An absolute ton of dripstone. This still goes way down. There's more copper. All the way down here. More copper. How deep are we now? We are... We're at negative 10 right now. Whoa, look how far this goes in here. Woo, this is cool. Here we go, the caves. Whoops, stepped in the lava. Okay, so there's more natural cave up here. We are down at negative 44. All this lava. There's some glow berries. Diamonds. What more can you ask for? Diamonds, glow berries. Lots of mobs. Uh, a zombie villager. Wearing an apron? That's normal. There's the glow berries, and I think if we go up here, we're gonna find, yeah, a big lush cave. Ooh. Wow, look at all these berries. Tons of moss. I mean, there's moss everywhere. Lots of azalea. Absolute ton of moss. Other vegetation, glow berries everywhere. Drip leaf, right here. Drip leaf, drip leaf. There's another drip leaf. Looks like a lily pad kind of, but different. More diamonds. Ooh, look at all the creepers. What? That's a lot of creepers in these places. Okay, so this opens up to a whole another cave system. It was attached to the other one. It looks like you can just go on and on and on with caves. There's tons of iron in here. Okay, now this, does this access? Yes, you can access the outside with this one. But look how small that access is. It's just a cutout. You wouldn't even know it. It's just a huge drop. You'd be up inside these mountain area at about 80, 80 high. And if you came down inside here, To here, you're at negative 19. So that's 100 blocks from the top all the way down here. There's so many different places you can go. It's, it's kind of uh, kind of daunting, but at the same time, pretty cool and fun. Notice this block right here is the tough. And there's going to be other ways to get blocks than there was in just the other... Uh, this is all tough here as well. You don't have to find a geode now to find the blocks that come from the geode. They're actually just in the world itself. Jeez, how many mobs can I get? That looks like more diamonds right there as well. Yep, more diamonds. You're gonna be able to find diamonds just walking around. We found three patches of diamonds just inside of this cave system alone. Hey, obsidian. 
We're at negative 54. 54 blocks below zero. Let's see how far down. Let me take my night vision. Okay, so here we go. We're at negative 63, so this must be the end of the world. Yep, it is. Oh, I almost died. All right. Negative 64 is the end of the world. <laughs> I, almost, I almost died in creative mode. What? Oh, here we go. This is a blossom? Yes, blossom. Again, here's just a small river between two mountains, but look how deep it is. It's like significant drop-offs in the water, so. And we're back to the original snowy mountainscape that we had found originally. Again, we will find mountains in another video that we can take a look at. But this should give you a good understanding of what it's going to be like, what things are going to look like. So I will bring you more really cool walkthroughs of the 1.18 experimental snapshots in the near future or the betas if they come out with those real soon. I cannot wait for this really cool Caves and Cliffs update 1.18 with all the features, not just the terrain, but this gives you a good idea of the caves and the cliffs, mountains, some information in regards to some of it. I hope you guys got something out of this. If you did, please hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel to not miss any more of the 1.18 Minecraft information, plus a heck of a lot more. Take it easy, everybody, and I will see you again in a video or in a live stream very, very soon. Bye-bye! Brad's so pretty, Brad's so pretty, oh it's so pretty Brad.